As a business owner, your personal accountability is the underlying foundation upon which your company's accountability framework is built. Your actions, decisions and attitude towards accountability set the tone for your entire team. Creating a personal accountability framework can provide a structured approach to your responsibilities and foster a sense of ownership, transparency and dedication within your business. Now, what you do, the choices you make, and how you handle accountability influences not just you, but your whole team. So let's discuss the creation of a personal accountability framework. Step one, set personal goals and vision. Establish your personal goals and vision in the context of your business. What is your role in making this company successful? What leadership style do you want to adopt? How will you contribute to the growth and development of your business and your team? These questions can guide you in setting your course. Step two, define your roles and responsibilities. As business owners, we wear multiple hats. Clearly defining your roles and responsibilities helps avoid confusion and ensures that you focus on priority areas. Whether it's overseeing operations, securing finance or managing strategic partnerships, Clarity in your roles and responsibilities is key. Step three, establish personal performance standards. Set measurable indicators of success for yourself. These can be tied to the overall performance of your business, specific tasks and projects, or even softer qualitative factors such as employee morale and customer satisfaction. Step four, create a personal monitoring and reporting system. Implement a system to track your progress against your goals. This could be a digital tool, a journal, or even regular check-ins with a mentor or coach, something that I do as well. Uh, keep these records up to date regularly. I have uh, my tablet here, and I'll show you one of mine. Um, straight off, here's one of mine there. You won't see it very, very well, but I've got all my to-dos, uh, my time blocking, and my strategic actions there, and that is regularly review reviewed with my coach and mentor. Step five, develop personal feedback loops. Just like your team needs feedback, you do too. Regularly seek feedback from your employees, partners and mentors. Accept constructive criticism with humility and listen to your team's suggestions. Step six, establish personal rewards and consequences. Just as with your team, recognising your successes and learning from your mistakes is a crucial part of personal growth. Celebrate your wins, however small, and use setbacks as opportunities to learn and improve. Lastly, step seven, regularly review and adjust your personal framework. Over time, as your business grows and evolves, your personal accountability framework will need to adapt. By regularly reviewing and adjusting your personal framework, you can ensure that you continue to lead effectively and contribute positively to your business. Now, as a business owner, your personal accountability framework cannot be an afterthought. It sets the standard for you and your team and shapes your business's culture. By applying these steps and maintaining a consistent focus on personal growth and development, you can lead by example and foster a robust accountability culture within the business. So that's a wrap. If you have any uh, comments, questions, tips for better accountability, please do leave us a message. And please do like and subscribe if you found this of value. Until next time, thanks for watching.